We like nothing. Abort, 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 abort. mission. <laughs> we don't like any of it. No. I she had it in a bun yesterday. <laughs> and I still managed to get it in I my I think hair. bald is a good choice. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. Welcome back to Read at Homestead. I'm so excited to share today's video with you guys. But before we get started, I do want to thank today's sponsor, which is Rainpoint. Mark and I renovated our backyard not too long ago, and when we did, we planted three trees and we didn't add an irrigation system to them. At the time, we really didn't think it was going to be a big deal because we thought it'll be nice for us to get outside and enjoy some fresh air and water the trees every now and then, but it's actually become more of a hassle than we initially thought because I will admit that we have fallen victim to a couple times of leaving the water on and then we forget and then we come out there and we flood our backyard and it's just such a waste of water. I mean the trees appreciate it but we feel so bad doing that so I started looking for a solution to make our lives a lot easier and I found Rainpoint. Rainpoint is a perfect addition to your garden. It's perfect for us with just the few trees that we have in our backyard. They have quite a few options on their website to pick from just depending on what your needs are. We have the Rainpoint Smart Plus garden watering system that features two zones and we got a water flow meter with it as well. The Rainpoint Wi-Fi water timer series allows you to control your watering anytime anywhere with the Rainpoint app. The timers have a built-in water flow meter that allows you to not only set up a time-based watering schedule but also specify how much water to use. Rainpoint's exclusive weather technology also allows the timers to automatically skip unnecessary watering if it's raining. Now all I have to do is move my hose every couple days, which is so much easier than me trying to keep track of the watering schedule and trying to remember if I turned the hose off or not. I was so excited to see that they offered this kit with a water flow meter because it's just in time for camping season and it's important for us to make sure we have the proper water flow when we're filling up our camper. I also love that it comes with a sleek display that tells me other important information to help me plan my day, such as the outside weather and humidity. Rainpoint wanted to give my followers an exclusive discount of 20% off, which is so awesome. I will leave the code and a link in my description below so you guys can go shop. Thank you so much to Rainpoint for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to Read at Homestead and welcome to- Are you to sure it's Read at Homestead? Yes, it is Read at Homestead. I know, is it because Crazy Middles? It looks like Crazy Middles to I know, me. it does. <laughs> Just kidding, it is Read at Homestead. I am so excited about this video, yes. I cannot tell you because I hate my kitchen. <laughs> if you've been watching for a while, you know that I've been like, we're redoing this kitchen, we're redoing Talking it. about it. And we still are going to redo it. Yes. But for right now, we just need to do something so I can live with it. Yes. So because so eventually we're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah. That way you don't walk in this space and just hate it, right? Yes. I do believe, like, if you have big plans down the line for a renovation, just do something in the meantime that makes you happy, that makes yes. you feel like you want to walk into the space and love it. Yeah. You know? You don't have to wait for the big, huge plans down the road and be so unhappy in the meantime. Yeah, so. you can do something now is what I'm hoping she's telling me we can do something. I know, like, we're gonna try. So, okay, so real quick, the things that I hate in this kitchen yeah. are, are a few things. The biggest one of all is the backsplash. Yes. And Kylie's telling me she has a plan for that. Plan. I don't know, that makes me nervous. It's gonna be crazy. And then <laughs> the second thing is the hardware in here. It's like all different colors. We yeah. have missing knobs, we have things like that. Third thing the window. is probably the window. Yeah. It might tie with number two. I this. really don't like these blinds. Um, they just need some help. Yeah, so it's just a little lightly, I'm so. excited to see what you're gonna do <laughs> with gonna this. It's gonna be really fun. I am gonna have some helpers. Aubrey and Addison are gonna join me. Yeah. They are very excited. They are. If you guys caught the recent video of us doing their bedroom, they had so much fun DIYing. I think I've given them the little bug. Oh, you have. I've given them the bug. You have. So they're very excited about this project. I think it's gonna be a good one. Let's so, get started. Let's do it. <laughs> Notice lately that as soon as I put my tool belt on or I put my apron on, I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start this project. Starting is sometimes the hardest part, but we are ready. I am geared up and I'm excited. I feel like a lot of visitors are going to be in this video because the kitchen is the most popular spot of the house. So you guys are gonna see a lot of people throughout this whole entire video, my whole family. But I'm gonna start with actually cleaning the backsplash tonight. That's the first thing I'm gonna start on is the backsplash because that's what I'm the most excited about. So I'm gonna get everything cleaned and hopefully get everything primed tonight. That's the goal, let's do it. All I 
said was I was gonna start cleaning the backsplash. And look who I have as a helper. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I wanna clean the backsplash. I really wanna clean the backsplash. I wanna scrub. I wanna clean. What? I mean, what? what? I don't like to clean, but when Kylie does it, it's fun. <laughs> I love it. It's like, this is technically a chore, okay? <laughs> they're like, it's cleaning. You know what's gonna happen here is they're gonna clean this and it's gonna change the look and we're gonna be like, oh, just leave it. Sometimes all you have to do is give something a good clean, you know? And, and then you, like it, then you like it again. That's how I feel about my house. I'm like, oh my gosh, this place sucks. And then I clean it. I'm like, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Burley and I did amazing getting everything cleaned. I so appreciated her help. The last thing I am gonna do is just spritz down the backslash with just some water and do another wipe, like complete kind of wipe over with it just to make sure we didn't have any leftover Dawn and Simple Green. That's what we use to clean the backslash really well. Especially we had to use the Dawn over by the stove, huh? Because it was just like, just grease yeah. build up and everything. So I wanna make sure none of that residue is left behind. So we're just gonna run over, run over it with some water and then we're gonna let it dry overnight because it's travertine travertine like soaks up um like all the water and stuff yeah. so i want to make sure it's completely dry before we apply the primer because if anything could go wrong in this whole process it would be the primer failing but i i have faith in it it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine. so we're just gonna be cautious right and safe what up trey up. what up dude Miss Brindley here to help me again this morning. Are you yes. having fun? I love it. Did, was this your first time using tape? Like taping something to paint? Yeah. Was that your first time? I love it! So we're learning new skills. We're having so much fun. We're gonna start priming today. We let the backsplash completely dry. My goal is that we're gonna get everything primed, let that dry. We're gonna do a full coat of paint over everything and that will be our grout color. And then we're gonna paint each tile individually, slightly different shades of white and gray. <laughs> you should have told me this. <laughs> she was like, what are we doing? What's it going to look like? I'm like, it'll be a surprise. <laughs> it's going to be, be different. I know, like, it's going to be a lot of work, but it, with, it'll be fun. we have a team. We have a whole team, so it's going to go by fast. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. So we're going to start by priming. Let's do this thing. We are already so in love with how the backsplash looks and it's just primer. Like it has brightened up the kitchen so much already. I regret that we didn't do this a long time ago, but I wanted to share with you guys what I'm really inspired by for the next part of this process, which are these tiles. So I saw these tiles, I was doing some countertop shopping and I saw these tiles at Arizona Tile. They're the flash ivory color and they're just slightly different shades of whites and grays and tans. And that's what I want to do here in the kitchen. So these are my reference points. I went ahead and pulled a bunch of paint samples and found the ones that I felt like would be the closest match to these tiles because this is the look I'm going for. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and go get all these colors all the paint tinted so that way we can start painting. I am so excited for this next step. Feels a little daring, but I'm gonna trust the process that it's gonna be good. We found one tile that was completely loose. We didn't even know that it was loose. So it's been located and I'm going to just go ahead and, and stick it back on with some caulking and caulk around it as my grout line, if you will. I could regrout it, but this is just easier and it's gonna get painted anyway. So it's a quick fix and it will look so much better. We are headed to pick up some more supplies and get all of our paint ready. Look at all my helpers. Everybody's along for Berlin. the ride. Yes, Yay. we're favorite helpers. Are you guys excited? Yes. It's gonna be so much fun. We're having like girls day outing. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go do it. Yeah. I also like like a light green. 
purples. So you know the foam kind? Yes. I think that we're Oh, you know what I forgot? Those are the infamous words no one likes to I'm hear. I'm sorry. You know what I forgot? I'm sorry, I need it. Oh no, you know what I forgot? I'm sorry. Oh Mark, I know we're three hours into this road trip, but you know what I forgot? Hey, one time he forgot the trailer keys to our trailer as we were going camping and we were already two hours from our house. So listen, I'm allowed to forget <laughs> whatever I want to forget. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're back at the house and ready to start painting. I've been waiting for this part. The first thing I am going to do is do another full coat of paint, which will be my grout color. So it's the darkest shade out of all the shades that I'm gonna be using. And then we're gonna paint each individual tile afterwards with all the different shades that we picked out. So the reason I'm doing that is because the grout lines are so small and I think it'll be really hard to paint them like all individually. So I think this will be the easiest way, but again, we're experimenting. So I'll let you guys know what I decide in the end if this is like a good idea or not. I am gonna be using a satin finish for the grout color and then I have a semi-gloss paint for all the other colors. I really wanted gloss because I thought that'd be really pretty, but they didn't have any in stock. So semi-gloss I think will still work, but gloss I think would have been my preferred so we'll see how it works everything she does in here I keep saying just leave it I like it like that so like she did the primer and it's white <laughs> it's like just leave it and I'm like leave it and now she's doing it you're actually putting the paint on yeah well I'm doing, doing the grout color right now okay and it looks really good. You can just leave it like that. <laughs> Anything looks better than what it was. <laughs> That's so true. That's I mean, really true. And actually, I did feel like the white looked really pretty. Yeah, I thought like, it was good. If nice you, and bright. Yeah, if you just wanted to just paint it white, like your backsplash, you hate it, like just paint it white, and it will look so much better already. You'll be happier. You don't even have to go through all this process I'm putting myself through. But it's I'm gonna so be excited worth it. to see it though. I know, me too. I'm get like, back to work. Get painting so get I can just see it. I know. <laughs> There is a little section here that's the tile's missing. Yeah, since we moved in, it yeah. was like that. Yeah, I like looked around, like trying to find in your cabinets. Like maybe someone put it there, like somewhere. No, it was long gone it was before gone. we got here. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't find it, so I had to find a different solution because trying to find a, the tile that matched that was just not going to happen. I found one really close that was similar, but anyway. So I'm going to pull those off of there, and she's like, "I'll do it for you." I can do that. Let's see it. Cause Let's just see like. It. How do you just do it, Mom? Let's see. <laughs> you just stick a something in there. And you just... Okay. And you just... Uh-huh. Oh, well, wait, wait, wait. That was not a good reflection wait. of my work. <laughs> Listen. Am I going to break the corner? I don't know. Let's see you do this, Mom. Oh, I can do oh, it. Oh, wait, no, wait. Hold on. You're pulling the rest of the tile off. <gasps> oh, the whole tile. The whole tile's going to fall it's off. Fall off. Hold okay. On. I better let... You better I better let, let the professionals the do it. it. You're fired. Good try, Yay! Love it. Yay, yay. We had to do a sneak peek. 
of like how the hardware is gonna look. That's <laughs> gonna like update it so much. So much. We always oh, have to like know. one person holds it and then it's like, okay, now you hold it so I can. We don't see. even hang a picture unless we do that. Yeah, we always have to do that. Yes, I love, I love it. I love it. I love it. She's like, it. don't, don't go any further. I love the max. I really do love it. Just oh. how it is. You don't have to do anything else to it. <laughs> I said, no, I'm on the right track. And you're happy. You are on the right track, <laughs> for sure. It is the moment we have been waiting for. I am ready to start painting the squares, the tiles. I can't believe it. I'm really excited. My plan of attack is that I am going to just start with one color first, paint a bunch of squares, then get another color, paint a bunch of squares, get another color, paint a bunch of squares. I have four colors that I'm gonna be working with to hopefully achieve the look that we're going for. And I also just have a bunch of different little paint brushes. I actually think that little foam brushes are gonna be what's going to work the best in this case. So I'm a combination of get a phone call and ruin everything. Um, I, I have a combination of different things that I'm going to try. Let's have some fun. is looking so good. I am, this was like a total experiment. I wasn't sure how it was gonna look. This is definitely one of those projects that you have to kind of just wait until the complete, like the very end to decide how it's gonna look and if you're gonna like it. But so far we're loving it and we're gonna keep going. I have this section almost done. I am having to do a second coat on all the tiles, which is kind of unfortunate because it's a lot of extra work, but it's okay, I'm totally here for it. Um, one thing I am gonna stop and do this morning is fill all of the hardware holes on all of the um, drawers. So I don't have to do it on the doors. We are gonna be adding new um, handles to all of the doors. And I think this is really gonna elevate the way that the room looks. So I'm gonna use the existing hole on the doors, but on all the drawers, we had only one little knob, so I'm gonna fill those, I'm gonna sand them down, repaint them, and then I can drill for new holes for the new hardware. So, I'm excited for this next step. Now that I've made a complete mess of the kitchen, <laughs> I'm gonna clean everything really well. Normally I wouldn't like be sanding right before I'm doing a bunch of painting, but I'm gonna be out of town for a couple days, so I'm working backwards. I was gonna wait to do all the handles until the end, like once everything was painted, but it's kind of driving everybody crazy not having handles on all the cabinets. So I'm working on that today. I'll have some more time to work tomorrow, and then I'll be out of town for a couple days, and then I'm gonna come back to it. So I'm working out of order, but it's okay. The other thing I wanted to share with you guys is that I tried this premium wood filler by DAP this time, and normally you guys know, if you've been with me for a while, how much I love my spackle. I use spackle on everything. Some of you guys fault me for it, but I tried some wood filler. I really, really like this one. This is great if you have a paintable project. I still love my spackle. This one is just a really like a nice hard finish, which was something that I knew I wanted in here, um, but I still love my spackle. But this is a good one. You guys are always telling me to try wood filler and this one is Kylie approved. sucking because it was full. My bad. <laughs> my bad. Kylie. My bad. It's okay. At least it's clean. It's just wood. It is just wood. Kylie. 
Abby, you missed a couple right there. Listen. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> You're in my territory. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Kicked out. <laughs>a quick break from all the handles which they're looking so good so far <laughs> I have Jared to help we're going to take this these blinds down and put up some curtains she's and vertically then challenged I so am vertically challenged I, do, to reach like, these. I need you <laughs> anything that's tall or heavy <laughs> I call him in um, <laughs> the other thing that we're gonna do that's different is we're going to mount a sunshade from the outside so that way we have control over the lighting in this room because if you guys are familiar with my family, they're the crazy middles. We do a lot of filming in the kitchen, so we need to have control over the lighting. But I think if you wanted to like just have control over your lighting anyway, this is kind of a good solution. Oh, totally. We're gonna see how it works. I oh, think yeah. it's gonna be cool. top pieces because one was missing but we're removing them and I bought something different to um, replace them so they're coming off so easy which is great the well, problem is it's taking this one off with it no! oh no I spoke so, too soon well it's coming off easy but you're okay. gonna have to reattach this one that'll be they just had a lot of stuff on the back of this, so. I spoke too soon, but that's okay. Just put some <laughs> gum on the end of the back. Just chew some, some gum, gum. We'll stick it on the back and stick it to the wall. Oh, no one will shelly, ever know. Shelly, we'll shelly. put a curtain over it. Good to go. I just fell so hard outside. <laughs> it was some type of bee, some type of very loud bug that was suddenly over my ear and I fell to my knees. I can't believe I didn't just shatter my camera. I'm, it hurt so bad. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> and the bee didn't get me. <laughs> this looks so nice in here. So much better. It's perfect. I feel like the lighting in here is already so much better. So we did order some curtains to go here. We're not, we're experimenting. This whole everything is an experiment. We're not sure if we're, we bought like three different curtains to see which ones we would like best. And we're not sure if we want them on a tension rod or maybe we can put them on an actual rod. <laughs> yeah. And we're not seeing eye to eye. Yeah. <laughs> Dang I'm, it. I'm pushing her. Actually this whole thing. Stop pushing me. This whole thing I'm like, Let's try this. Okay, we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this. I'm like experiment. such a pessimist. I'm a pessimist. I'm like, it's not no, gonna you're not. work. You're it's so not gonna work. Why did you order that? But yeah. I didn't want to do gray curtains because I'm like, we have enough gray in here. I know. But she likes I the know. gray the most. I so like. Far. I like gray, but I am. I am getting over it. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna see. We're gonna see what we like. We like nothing. Abort, 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 abort mission. Abort. <laughs> we don't like any of it. No. Yeah. No. So it just didn't work. But it did allow us the opportunity to figure out what we do want. Yes. So we just don't like the linen colors. We didn't like the gray. We didn't like any of it. We them. didn't like anything. So we just ordered some white ones. And then the one thing that you really wanted is for the rod to go up further. Yeah, I didn't like the rod in the windowsill. Yeah. It just felt like it was like... It just yeah. Stunting it? Yeah. It's kind of like whenever you hang curtains, you always want to go like the Whatever highest that you can go in the room. Um, but that's kind of what we're feeling like here too. Of course, we're like, it's a little bit different because we have the um, cabinets in our way. And the sink. And the sink in our way. Yeah. But or the faucet. Yeah. I think we got a good, a new good plan. We have a plan. We have a plan. We're going to try again. Yes. 
I wanted to share a really cool tip with you guys when it comes to installing hardware. So it comes with two um, separate screws, or at least most packs of hardware do, and the top one is for the doors, and then the longer one is for drawers. So the longer ones typically come with like all these little notches in them, and that's where they can be cut down because typically they just give you the longest possible, and then you have to cut them to size. So that's a lot of work, but what I'm here to share you with, with you guys is a super cool trick. So this is a like typical pair of little wire cutters and they actually have these two little slots here that are threaded. And so all you have to do is thread your, um, your little screw in there, get it to right where you, you know, want it to be cut. And then I'm just gonna give it a good squeeze. It was funny because last night everybody was trying to see who could squeeze it, <laughs> who could actually cut it. You do have to give it like some good force to cut it, but you can cut it right off and then it is perfect size. So I just wanna share that super cool trick with you guys. I will tell you in the past, Mark and I have like done so many methods of trying to cut these down. And then I learned about this and I was like, yes. And it was so much easier this time around. It's late at night and I have some helpers. And Miss Addison. She's going Guys, too crazy. It's okay. She's crazy. You have to go wash your hair right now. I'm Here, not show your go head. Bald. Look at your head. head. Look at it. Guys, I'm not no. going to go bald. No. It's even worse on this side because it's cut. Oh, yeah, like <gasps> right here. Did she get more? Oh, no. She put her head. Yeah, I'm resting my head. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love you, love you. Great news. Oh, yeah. She made it back. I'm back. I'm alive. Hair washed. Hair still have. <laughs> it looks good. There's no paint uh -huh. from what I well. There's a mm. little there's a little teeny a teeny little tiny bit. bit. It's going on midnight. It's literally 11:56. Mm. Yeah, but we can finish. What finish? Yeah. How much? We have so much more to do. No, we don't. We have a lot. Not with the three of us. Well, we're gonna keep going. Yeah, we are. Just for a little bit longer. Yeah. Then I'm calling it. No. I'm calling it. I freaking love you, love you. Something about you, about you. All of the feelings, it's magic. Worked up an appetite, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. Holy mean, cow. This pub mix. Yeah. <laughs> that mix is so good, actually. It is so good, actually. It's really, really good. You guys absolutely killed it. It's one in the morning. It it's looks 1 so good. It looks amazing. I still want to keep going. I do too. This back says otherwise. I'm like, we're done. We're done. I cannot thank you guys enough. Literally from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I cannot thank you guys enough. I enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. so. You guys are so good. You're yeah, so yeah. good at painting too. Like it looks amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you for letting thank us help. You. Yeah. And now we're all gonna go to bed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> tomorrow. Keep painting. I think we might be able to finish tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. I like think for sure. Too. Right. Yeah. Yes. So it's been a minute since I've used my little baby tile saw that gets the job done. I'm so excited. I was like so pumped to get this thing out and be able to use it because it's not every day I get to use this thing. But the difference that I have to do with this this time that I haven't done before is I have to cut a 45 degree angle. And I've never cut a 45 degree angle on this thing before. And it's just a little sketchy. Um, so this is how I have to cut it. The blade doesn't turn but hopefully it will just get the job done. All right, we've got it figured out. Hopefully I'm not gonna jinx myself. My mom came out here and said, hey, maybe you can just put some painter's tape on it. I'm like, yes. So I just tried it and I put some painter's tape on it and cut it upside down and I got a really nice crisp line. 
So I actually was looking and this is actually marble. So marble is just really, really soft. I learned that marble was so soft when I was doing her fireplace. I did all the tile on her fireplace in there. That was a long time ago. If you guys have been with me since then, thank you. Um, but that's when I learned kind of you have to cut it upside down so it'll chip off the back, that kind of a thing. So we're just we're just digging deep into the depths of my brain to remember how this works. <laughs> a pro at getting paint in your hair. I think so too. I mean, look at this. <laughs> Again? I just don't know. Again? My hair is too long. Again. I just need to go bald. No, don't go bald. Maybe yes. just put it back. Although you did have it in a bun, you still Yeah, I had it in a bun yesterday. <laughs> and I still managed to get it in I my hair. I think bald is a good choice. I think so too. Yeah. requested Jared's Thomas <laughs> she knows me too well thank you why we're replacing this. Yeah, <laughs> it's because she hates that faucet. I it's hate it. It's always in her videos. I feel like we've. this is our main place that we film. Yeah. And that faucet, If you've, you've probably seen it a million times. Yeah. It's in our vlogs all she the time, just it. some faucet handle, and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. This will so, be much better, hopefully. Much better, shorter. It looks really cute, yeah. right? Did we do good? Yeah, you did really good. Yeah. It looks so beautiful. BTW. Hey, yeah, we just have to have Jared hold that the whole time. Yeah, I'll just hold it here permanently. Yeah. It'll be great. <laughs> This background looks a lot different. It does. <laughs> it does when we start it this. It is like a brand new kitchen in here. It is so amazing. Yeah. What paint can do. I didn't think this was possible. I didn't even know it was possible. It definitely turned out yeah. better than I thought it would. Yeah. And I love it so much in here. Thank you so much. You are so You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for letting me crash your kitchen. I love it. Thank I've you. had her whole house like a mess. We um, don't even care. a mess. <laughs> It turned out great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this makeover. I hope that if you hate your backsplash, you feel like you have a solution too. So thank you. It. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.